Kelly Galladay finally signed. He had been holding out for some big money. Four years, $72 million with the New York football giants. How do you like that fit for Kenny Galladay? You saw some video of Saquon working out over the weekend. And, of course, Danny Dimes. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, you know, Kyle Rudolph's coming in there, too. Yep. Evan Ingram, you know, I got Saquon coming back healthy. I still don't know what we have at the quarterback position with the Giants. I don't know. Not what, sold on Danny Dimes? I, 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 don't know, I don't know what he is. You know, I had too many interceptions for me. At some point, you got to clean that up. Mm. So he gives them their best receiving threat, obviously, since Odell left yep. town. And I'm still kind of baffled that he got as much as he did coming off an injury plague season. I mean, he, he was hurt for the majority of this past year and really didn't do much. But when he's at his best, um, you know, this this is a guy, he's 6'4". He can go over, he can high point the ball. You know, he, he needs to have, though, he needs to have between 90 and 100 catches, double-digit yeah, touchdowns, absolutely. and, you know, thirteen to 1,400 yards to make this deal worth it. Yeah, you saw the wide receiver market was kind of dry. Now, these yeah. guys didn't go day one, didn't go day two. Took till the weekend for Kenny Galladay to finally get his deal. He gets $18 million. There was hope. I think he was hoping for a little bit more maybe per year average there. But do you think this tips the balance in the East at all? Is it still Cowboys? I, I mean, I think Washington is kind of – we did a poll last week, and Washington won it as the team to beat in the NFC East. Does that, that right? surprise you? Yeah. I mean, Fitzmagic is back. <laughs> hey, come Curtis on, Curtis Samuel, yeah. Terry Absolutely. McLaurin, like Antonio one. Gibson, no? So, TJ, you're, you're a big Dallas fan, right? And you know this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as you know, I'm a big Washington fan, so uh, we're yeah. oil and water right now. But I, I, wanna, I still like you for some weird I know, reason. I like you, too. And I, and I want to hear your take. And I'm actually, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm a little jealous because there are times when I wish I was a Dallas fan. <laughs> and as you probably know, <laughs> be, being a bit. from the Washington area... <laughs> If you're not a Washington fan, you're a Cowboys fan. There are a ton of Cowboys there. That's what I hear. Yeah. There, there's there's a ton. Yeah, I, and the reason the reason is is very simple. Washington was the last team to integrate, and a lot of team a lot of guys who lived there and grew up there is like I'm not rooting for this team, and so they were Cowboys fans going back for decades. Yeah. And so when your grandpa's a Cowboys fan and then your dad's a Cowboys fan, you grew up a Cowboys fan. So there is a massive love hate relationship in Washington, D.C. with with Washington football team fans and Cowboys fans. I um, I, I love the defense in Washington. Um, I, Brian Fitzpatrick, he's, what, what, what is he? He's, he's hot and he's cold. There's very, there's, he's going to be exciting. He's exciting. I don't know that he makes him better. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.